breezy morning here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that is a Trangia burner in my Firebox Nano. And I've got an Oli Camp uh, cup on top of there, and I've got an Oli Camp windscreen. It's kind of a combination of new and old technologies. The Trangia uh, stove, the little burner inside there, it's an alcohol stove. Been around for quite a long time 30, 40 years or so, maybe longer. Actually, I think it's quite a bit longer, maybe more like 50 or 60 years. Uh, it's kind of breezy, so I have to use the windscreen. You can hear a wind chimes in the background, I'm sure. But I'm, uh, I just made a mod to my Nano. I don't know if you can see here, but I've got a little finishing nail stuck in there. And that's what's holding up that stove at the optimal height. And that should be right around just a slightly less than one inch. But the nice thing about it is you get a nice blue flame which is probably why you're having difficulty seeing the flame because it's really a pure, nice blue. I get a little yellow on the left side there. And that's mostly because of the wind. Uh, it does make the, the stove operate a little bit slower, but it makes it burn a lot cleaner and more efficiently. Um, yeah, pretty much a, uh, a nice deal. But this mod to my uh, Nano which is this part here. It's a little wood burning stove, but it also works with a variety of uh, fuels like alcohol burners and uh, Esbit tablets and whatnot. And I got this instructions for this mod from the guy that sells the stove. And I did it on a drill press. And uh, you can see it's on both sides there. Now I have the, the nano sticks coming. But for right now, it's uh, working with these uh, finish nails, and uh, the nano sticks aren't expensive. They're, they're really nice, and they fold up and they fit inside of the the uh, stove when it's uh, put it in its case, and they're quite handy. And uh, uh, it's a nice little nice little modification of the stove. And it, the the other nice thing about that is is uh, is for these lids that you can use. This is what you call a, uh, a simmer uh, ring that you can put on top of the of the trangia. And here I'll show you. Uh, you open that up like that. There you go. Now we're focused. Uh, it allows it to simmer. Uh, and you can't normally use that with the nano because the stove is too. It sits in there too deeply. But if you'll notice. It puts the lid right at the top of the stove, so now you can use the simmering with the Nano, which you could not do before. Very, uh, very clever mod by Steve. And he uh, he sells the, the, the stoves now. They all come with the holes uh, for this mod, and it's called the Generation Two. But mine's a Generation One. It's been modified. So anyway, boiling up some water for tea, which we're going to have some. Constant comment, and uh, there you go. Enjoy. There's everything all nicely folded up. It's a remarkably small, small package there. Uh, that's the that's the the, the Trangia burner right there, and the, actually the fuel is still in it. Uh, it'll travel with fuel if you once you let it cool down. You put that the the lid that it comes with screws on and has a has a rubber O-ring. And it'll keep fuel in there for a long time, and uh, I mean a year or two. But I don't know if you want to use that old fuel, but yeah, pretty neat.